Hello, this is Greg Brzezinski from Beard Brand Alliance. As the world seems to be plunging back into quarantine, many guys with beards are asking, what can I do in wearing a mask that's going to preserve my beard style? Let's talk about that. I'm going to show you some of the masks that I wear, and hopefully some of these will be helpful for you in keeping your beard looking the best as we're in quarantine. Here we go. A lot of the world, uh, especially in Europe, is uh, plunging back into quarantine, and a lot of guys are um, required to wear masks. Uh, in the U.S., where I am in Pennsylvania, in Philadelphia, um, you have to pretty much wear a mask. I have to wear a mask to work and uh, riding the subway, and uh, so it's a matter of fact for a lot of people. And the question comes up often, I hate wearing a mask because of what it does to my beard. Uh, if you're a healthcare worker, um, it's pretty much common knowledge that you need to have uh, a clean face or a very short beard uh, for wearing a respirator or things like that, especially in public service. And a lot of guys who work in hospitals will choose to trim their beards pretty short uh, to um, just get the mask as close to their face as possible. A lot of bearded guys don't want to give up their beards. I see it all the time. I see guys wearing a mask. And wh what happens? Uh, you create a... Uh, an indent in your beard. So you have a puffy beard in the morning, gets flat here, and then pops out. Um, it's like a beard mask face or something. Um, what can you do about that? So um, I'm actually sitting here in a suit because I wanted to demonstrate um, that I wear all different kinds of masks depending on where I'm going. A lot of times it'll be basic black. Um, we're talking style here. Uh, if you're going to be forced to wear a mask, um, let's talk style. So a lot of times I'll wear basic black mask because black goes with everything. Um, but sometimes I will wear something that coordinates with an outfit and not like I'm thinking too much, but if I reach on the, uh, in the drawer, I might pick a mask up that might look good with, for example, the suit I'm wearing. So I want to tell you what I do with, when wearing a mask. So masks are pretty wide and your face and nose, your mouth and nose is pretty small, even if you got a big one like me. Um, a lot of guys are wearing their masks covering their chin. And so you can actually see that it's crushing my beard. And when I take this mask off, it is actually going to um, interfere with the shape of my beard. So what I do, pretty simple, is I don't cover my beard. Now I'm covering my mouth, making sure that there's a seal here and I cover my nose. And actually, that's what I do. And I see a lot of guys doing that. And you can do this with any type of mask. You can do this with a surgical mask. Um, you can do it with, um, for example, in a surgical mask, if I put this on. So deep enough that it covers your, your chin, but making it small enough that it covers your mouth. The type of mask that you wear, it's totally up to you. Um, there's masks that are better for uh, reducing part, um, spit in, uh, from protecting from your mouth, and that's usually a surgical mask is probably the best for that. Um, I actually prefer um, wearing uh, fabric masks, uh, whether they have one layer, two layer, three layer fabric. Um, it really depends on the function um, that I'm going to. And when I mean function is, it's one thing if I'm walking around but it's another thing if I'm going to the gym. So when I go to the gym uh, in Pennsylvania where I am, masks are not even required by state law. So um, no one can make you wear a mask. My particular gym actually asks people to wear a mask and we're getting 100% co cooperation in the gym with that. So I tend to wear a mask that is one layer of fabric. So what it is doing is reducing uh, some of the projectiles that will be coming out of your mouth um, staying socially distant from people, and so um, otherwise, I literally cannot breathe in the gym if I'm wearing double, triple layers of fabric, even with a surgical mask. So, but in all of these cases, no matter what type of mask you're wearing, so for example, I showed you the surgical mask. Another knit mask here. Yes, I could pull it down and cover my entire face, or I could bunch it up and just cover my mouth. Plain and simple. That's a way that you can avoid getting that signature dent in the bottom of your beard. You can take a look at this one. It is specifically designed for the bearded man. 
And so what it is, is it's covering the nose, but it's also fully covering the beard without pushing the beard into the face. So what it's another kind of mask that works like that. Let me show you a couple. Going to the gym, the equipment in my gym is pretty much safe social distancing from each other. And so wearing a single layer of fabric over my mouth seems sufficient. Once again, this is what I do. Um, you need to do the best for you um, and whatever you feel most safe wearing. Some people want to wear triple layers of fabric over their face, um, others don't. Uh, that's totally up to you and what you do. Um, as far as like wearing um, multiple layers of fabric at the gym, I find it hard to, to work out. And so what I do is I've gotten gaiters. So these are gaiters. Uh, typically you will see these uh, people who ski, uh, people who do outside winter activity will often wear a gaiter so you can actually cover your head and let your face only show. And the beauty of wearing a gaiter now is that you can wear it over your face. And with an extra long gaiter, the fabric is loose around the bottom of your face. You can cover your nose and your mouth, and it keeps the beard. You can see my beard is pretty much not getting crushed in. I actually think there's a benefit of wearing a gaiter because it actually can help smooth your beard. I've done a little experiment. I've actually spritzed my beard with some water or put on some styling balm and combed it out, put on the gator, gone to the gym, and came back, and my beard was actually nice and smooth without having that signature indent at the bottom. So um, if you want to wear a gator, now this is a lot for a day look. So if you're in an office, if you're riding around in the street, you might not want to wear a full gator, um, but uh, you know, at the gym, it seems like the appropriate thing to do. One option. Say you're wearing your team jerseys here, uh, Philadelphia Eagles. Not doing so well this season, but I'm a diehard fan. Um, my sister actually made me, with official Eagles fabric, an Eagles mask. So if I'm uh, going out, <laughs> I can be fully coordinated with mask matching uh, shirt. Um, you can actually see this a lot, uh, especially in women's apparel that they're making uh, and in and medical apparel that they're making scrubs with matching masks, that they're making um, outfits with matching, ma matching masks. I've seen tie, pocket square, and mask combinations. Um, once again, I'm wearing this mask. I could cover pretty much, this is an enormous mask. I could cover from my eyes to my Adam's apple with this mask. And what I'm doing is I'm wearing it shorter, smaller. I'm covering my mouth. My, my lip is never showing. And that way I'm not getting the big indent at the bottom of my ear caused when it goes under the chin. So every mask that I'm wearing, I'm wearing it high and tight. So you're more casual. You're wearing a t-shirt and jeans. It almost doesn't matter what you wear, right? You know, some guys actually, and I actually like this idea. The reason I bought a gator before that was gray was to go with my gray hair. Um, I actually bought it in white to go with uh, what perception of white hair. But if I'm casual, I'm wearing a dark clothes, I'm wearing dark t-shirts, I'm wearing a leather jacket. I'm picking the black mask. Once again, high and tight. So whether you wear a mask or not, if you're wearing one, uh, you might want to consider some of these, um, you know, ideas. And it's really keeping the mask shorter on your face. So if you're wearing a triple safe mask, even if you're wearing a surgical mask, covering it up. I'm not a medical professional, but uh, this seems to be working uh, with me. And uh, I hope it can work for you also. Comment below and tell us if you have other options for wearing a mask. I know some people don't wear a mask perfectly fine with uh, me and we're not here to debate mask wearing and not mask wearing but if you're going to wear a mask uh, make it fashionable um, you can make a statement but you can also preserve the style of your beard by wearing your mask just a little shorter until we meet again whoever knew sweat could smell so good i did because i've been using beard brand's new deodorant grab it at beardbrand.com